In the meantime... A talking locker! Open the cage. Well, yes, of course. It's a Miss Mimic! Second chance! Let's go! You're gonna go for a bomb bomb blast and you're gonna go for a record for met metals. Well chrome tape. Chrome tape. Please work. 10%. And up to 20%. Oh, oh, of course, UG. Oh, that's a double. Seven percent. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, UG, come on. Okay, the other way around. Uh, I'm gonna attack with. No, wait, I'm gonna record. A chrome tape. I mean, what else do I want to use it on? And 90 or 890. I don't have many empty slots. Mm. Just let it work. Please. 15%. Double slice. <gasps> okay, I live. Oh, Eugene doesn't live. Which me? No. You've got to be kidding. 7%. Great. This monster? I don't like it. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what I do. It will attack me, it will... There's nothing... Uh... Up. Up to another chance. See you around. Would you look at that? Who do we have here? Hey! Creator Felix's friend. I've been training. Let me show you just how strong I am. Okay, I didn't expect to go into capture mode. Um, yeah, about that uh, smog magog I have. Um, I'm gonna talk about this later. First of all, we're gonna get... Okay, what is worse? Okay, uh, what would be the least lethal option? <laughs> I am... I'm not made to capture right now. So yeah. Ah, oh, this mech is a bad idea. Okay, we have to do a single spit. Because the second one would just create another wall. We would get rid of the wall and our... Um, Smog Magog would create a new one. So that's a no-no. Oh, what? Where did the wall go? Yeah, okay. Um, AP Factory failing is actually a really good thing. Uh, okay, so... Okay, now I can use a P-Drain instead, so I can just dual wield. Which means two spits. One, two, wall is gone. Okay, and with me losing so little AP... Yep. I actually have the AP full now, so I don't have to use more... Um, more of the smacks, which just create uh, the balls. So, how do I deal with her now? Let's see how strong a single spit is. Okay. <gasps> Okay, now is a good time to capture. So we're gonna just fight with a smack. 
and record an aerosol tape, which luckily we have enough. And I don't have to take care about Eugene too much. Oh, just 15. 15 is not good. What? Oh, it attacks both. Oh, yeah, no. Uh oh. Now I have to record her every turn. Or she will. Ah, 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 ah. ah, if only we had less wall counter. I mean, switching or attacking really does the same at the end. So I do need someone with good um, defense. We have quite a good defense. You are okay. What about Lamb? Uh, headshot, roll again. Okay. And quite a good defense. So we're gonna get Lamb out. And we're gonna record with the basic tape. Technically, not to record, just to stall time. Recording. I was confused for a moment why uh, Eugene is changing, but yeah, sure. You have to change out of Monster Form. Okay, we've got the whole life. Damn it. Okay. Tree. Oh no! We have roll again now. Mm. What am I rolling? I could roll for anything. Even spit. And the wall is still here. So you're gonna switch yet again? That's a bad form. How about connect hook? Revenge strike. Um Actually revenge strike is good for us. Okay, this could work. We're changing into the Koneko form and yet again record with the basic tape. Again, not to capture, just to stall time. And uh, honestly, every percentage above 0% is percent. So what you gonna do? And the wall is nearly gone. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Only one wall left. Do we have a mold to strike? Slice, uh, hits one target, hits one target, hits one car. Cannot be avoided. So nothing I can technically do. One last switch, maybe. We do have smack and trick, which only trigger after the attack itself. So it should be safe. Okay, let's change into my Asmodeus. And yet again, basic tape. Just to keep Koneko alive. Recording. And the one after this would be the one we tried to. <gasps> oh no! We're running out of... Um... Damn it. Uh oh. Intercept. We still have one intercept left. Great. So we're going on full headshot. And an ar arrow tape. Okay, and now we pray. Sixteen and a crit, nice. Forty-nine. This is the best we had so far. Yes, we've got, we've got the base version. Oh, now I can ignore her. <laughs> oh, great. Kaneko was put into storage. Uh, I won't be defeated so easily, you know. Oh yeah, about that. Um, now that I don't have to worry about it, I 
guess I could capture the shining one again, but uh So she is astral which I could use my metal move on, which is effective. And you can just headshot or dual wheel. I guess headshot is okay. Bonk. And ooh, trick. Oh wow, okay. That's uh do we have a quick smack? No we don't. And Well I could just do a wheel, but one spit is enough. Smack. Ah Brokas. Ah hmm? oh, oh. <laughs> For a moment I forgot we had our own Shining Koneko and I was like, wait, we just ki we just defeat- wait, did she get a new move from being defeated? But no, no, no. <laughs> this is our sh Shining Koneko. Ah, I'll beat you next time! Well. Hello, hello and welcome back to Cassette Beast. It took a while. But we got the next candy evil. Only one. It might come as a surprise, but collecting 20 of those um, fusion shards is quite the thing. About the team I got the last time. If I remember right, I said something about showing it off. And as you can see, the only one with us right now is Mysmodius. Which got quite the overhaul. Everyone in this in that team got quite the overhaul. I think that is what took most of my time. Maybe I can't remember. But the main strategy is those three moves. Um, let me quickly scroll my list on the other monitor here. Okay, we've got one ast astral move, um, which covers wind, earth, fire and water, one fire move which covers metal, plant and poison, and one metal move which I can't use from the get-go but what you gonna do, which covers astral, earth, ice and glass monsters. And I do get a type advantage if I use them right, which I think you saw once in a fight I had, which can trigger a chemical imbalance. Twice, because I have it twice. One for Trick, because I thought, okay, Trick gives an extra slot. I don't need the random debuff on the opponent that much, but it's a low energy, which is important here. And then you use, wait, one after another, okay? How did we use Chemical Imbalance before? Chance to automatically use the next move in the list for zero AP when the user lands a type advantage hit. The chance is reduced in proportion to the, normal, uh, to the move's normal AP cost. If you remember right, we had Headshot, which was a full-on energy move, we can see here. So the chance to trigger Headshot was slim, slim to none. Trick, on the other hand, is a one energy move, and as you've seen in the fight, we actually triggered it once or twice. So that's that. And Smack has even less. And the funny thing about Smack is... Um, this one has shared with allies, which is great for the critical chance. And a 19% damage. And a 5 <laughs> that's the that's the funny thing. 5% critical chance. It's not much, but it's something to trigger critical AP. So technically we fill up the copper job again. So we can use effective moves against enemies and until we have enough AP for a headshot that's what we're collecting for and I have a debuff and a smack and a cr maybe crit smack every turn well next to every turn it's still a chance but it's great and technically speaking I did the same type of thinking with every monster we had there lamp um, what did I do with you? 
basically Lamb is just a very sneaky um, ranged attacker. We're AP refunding until headshot yet again. This is a... Oh, this is a normal AP refund. I didn't have that many AP refunds left. I like this move. This passive? Is it a move if it's passive? Whatever. Um... And the idea is using roll again for a lot of status. We want to AP drain, trick or mind meld. Eh, not mind meld, just AP drain or trick with echolocation. Kind of the idea we had with leech. But I don't know one monster that can use plant moves and echolocation. If I find one, I will have my healer. Until then, we'll see. And Mind Melt is basically for echolocation, which is nice on other monsters. And hopefully the AP refund and the roll again, which may be bad on other monsters now that I think about it. And honestly speaking, I haven't tested if Mind Melt works with passive moves. We need to see. Okay, to be fair, I tried to turn Lamp into something, but... The pool of moves just isn't that great. That's the thing. One move alone is nice always. But it's about the combination of moves. Like we had... I'm coming right back. Uh, whoops, check tape. Uh, like we had here. Trick and chemical imbalance. Those work perfectly together, not to mention Chemical Imbalance, Smack, and Crit AP. Which is two possible crits, because our normal move can already crit, Smack can slightly better crit, and Crit AP. So we have like a, two combos with multiple moves. And that's what I was missing on, uh, on them. And... The same goes for Koniko. I really, really want to turn Koniko into something good because I want Koniko to be on the end team. But I really can't. We have a lot of uh, melee moves because of Berserker. And Revenge Strike ignores walls and I didn't know who to put it on else. But nah. It's not much going on here, honestly. It's just a beatdown. Uh, Marius, on the other hand, is an interesting beatdown. I did the same mistake again and gave her Bite and realized, oh yeah, right. Bite doesn't trigger multiple times. Because Marius is one of the few that can use two hats. The only one I can think about right now, actually. And therefore, I want to build around two hats. Um, what is multi strike good for? Uh, I haven't tested every move, but we have Bish Bash Bosh, which hits a whole team for 60. Um, Copper Chop, just. It's effective. I, I guess you can see the pattern here. We have a steel, a metal type, and a fire type again, which cover like 3 and 4. Um, Three and four enemy types. A poison, I don't know what covers, but this one, critical chance. This one, wait, didn't we talk about critical chance before? Oh well. And we have crit AP and AP refund. So we're gonna use smack until we have enough AP for the higher moves. Or just for last rights, which is headshots for melee attack. It works pretty well. Scampire... Why do I... Oh yeah, because you're a bootleg. I tried to turn Scampire into something, but it figured out, okay, I just take his moves and move on. It, it, he's kind of worse off than Lab. Basically because he can't use echolocation. Can you imagine the pet in the team? Can't use echolocation. And I wish he could because he has a high tempo stat. Good attack. 
Good tempo. Bad defense, but that's not what he's for. I would put him with the tank and from there, just debuff the uh, enemy. But no, echolocation doesn't work. Oh, wait, yeah, echolocation for multi target. Oh well. And here we have my favorite Smog Magar. <laughs> You've seen him in action, and the only thing he can do is smack. And at this point, I do wonder what happens if I take Smack out. I would dare to. Or gi just give him a higher move. Because if he... Okay, here's the thing. He has high defense stats. And AP factory. So basically he just sits there and takes the hits. With Magnet, which has plus one duration. Um... Only he can be attacked, so the other monster can do whatever they want. Thing is though, he has sturdy armor, which um, means that his defense is safe. And he has radioactive, so up on melee contact... Burn! Uh, inflict burn! Yeah, nice. <laughs> um, and here we have automation. So... Uh, whenever my turn ends, I can use the move below it, which could be AP Drain. With a chance of getting spikes. I don't know what that means. I don't think I had that yet. Not to mention automation is a chance. And uh, spikes is a chance. So it's very slim. But reducing AP generation is nice. Oh, I now realize I did a mistake here. Ooh, give me a second to think about it. Uh, and Magnet, uh, just to get more Magnet. So every turn, there's a chance to get even more Magnet. Just really nice. The only thing he does not have is AP regeneration. I wish. I wish. Or getting rid of debuffs. I will have to think about this more. But so far, I'm really happy. I would switch out Smack. And for the AP drain, I could... Give him echolocation. Yes, you heard right. The the bat cannot learn echolocation, but this steam engine can. I don't know how, I don't know why. We're just talking about the blue sky. <laughs> so let me replace this one quickly, so I keep it in mind. Sonic Boom, whatever, broadcast and echolocation. Which is broadcasting better. So, now the idea is he gets multi target uh, return, and that means every enemy gets its AP drained. So they can attack us even less. That's the idea. Doesn't work that well on fusions, I realize, because they get three. Well, if they earned the influence, they gain four, normally four energy, but no. Nah. So that was my team. The only thing I can't show is from Eugene, because I don't want to keep him around any longer. His, um, his Robindon had a nice moveset as well, as you've seen, with a double hitting, um, ah, Double hitting spit, which is like three moves, one to initiate, and then two spits, which all could trigger AP moves. And then he got headshot. So basic, and he's gotten the, uh, what was it, plunger arrow, toy arrow, whatever arrow that was, which is kind of immediate when I can't, just can't reach um, headshot. Which is funny, because he's gaining AP and AP, although he's using a 2 energy move with just recovering 2 energy. I know, I know, um, this mostly comes from Smogmagog's AP factory, but oh well. Uh, oh god. I don't want to fight another fusion, I, I kind of have this muscle memory now. So... For now, we're just going for uh, AP drain, reduce the target's AP generation, makes the target conductive, change the type of the user or an ally, 
Raise the user's range defense. Ah. NAP starter! Yay! <laughs> I don't really like starter moves because you have them once and then if the fight is too complicated, never again. Ah, um, meta camouflage, I do have air resistance, breathing technique, revenge strike. The three of them. So nothing from you? Oh, please have something good. Oh, another revenge strike. Damage based on range defense, a fire. Ooh. I don't know if Smogmagog... I don't think he can have revenge strike. Ah, the others, three, two, one, three, okay. I could buy it, but then I'm kind of out of resource. Then again, I have a lot of basic moves. So if they have something, I can just recycle. Okay, the idea. We still have a few monsters to go for. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna quickly... Wait, we have Dracula and Beanstalk already. Kuneko, you will have seen. And yet again, the Mimic. Oh god, it's so hard to capture. I don't know how. We're gonna see. We will see. I've got the bar. So it's mostly the Spirit line, the Fangoth line. The Cloxley line and Kittel. So we will have to... No, I don't want to talk to you. So the best move I can do right now is uh, going to Friends Island and capture some of the Friends monsters. As you can see, there are not that many options left for me to do. And honestly, I do think that... Well, I would say... Uh, I do want to say we're nearing the end. But in all honesty... We're nearing an, a checkpoint. Because I think the game goes on a little longer after the whole Mordred thing. And what was trying lad's name again? After that is done, there's still more to do. But um Oh we do have a serenade. I don't need this one. And they are too high level for me to really level on. Oh well. Nope, you're not fleeing. Oh, just to elf less. How cute. Uh, how about you? So yeah. We just fill... Okay, the idea is to fill the box with whatever we can find. Uh, can you come to my side? I don't, I don't know if that is a trainer or not. Ooh, another... Uh, we've... Um, we got one spirit. I think we need this one as well. So... Uh, Moonshine, the fire one, right? And you just smack. Quick smack? Quick smack. Nah, simple smack. Spirouette is quicker than my Smodius? Why? Oh, <laughs> you missed. Okay. So, another moonshine. I just want to get rid of the pom bomb. Uh, Icicle Dart should help with this. And we're hitting! And you're missing! No! Ooh, we flinched. Okay, Pommel is nearly done. Oh, and then the little smack. Nice. So now you see my uh, idea in practice. How the moveset is supposed to work. And also, I would say Mice Modius is actually weaker than uh, the Robidem I prepared. 
And smack. Wonderful. Bye bye. And trick. Wonderful. Or melee attack down. Perfect. So. We need. We still need to whittle it down a little. Um. That's extra damage, but I hope it's not too much. Yep, it's okay. Uh, okay, wonderful. Uh, I s think we can we wiggle it down a little more. Just a tiny little more. Okay. Oh, oh no, please don't smack, please don't smack. Only a trick, okay. I wonder if only one of them can trigger. I don't think I have seen two triggers uh, at once. So, record with a chrome tape should be enough. And you can go all in with the torrent with a boil. Right, that would be perfect. Ooh, 46, that's a lot. And... And reduce attack damage, so even if T is attack... Oh! We've got it! Oh yeah! Okay, the problem with having so many level monsters on me means I have to go back to... to the cafe because my main battler is hurt. Or I'm just using items. Inventory. Oh, I don't have items. Okay, we need to go back. Well, sorry for the back and forth. Okay, first things first. Hey, comments. Uh, give me some respools. Thank you. Do I need a purposely? Yep. And chrome tapes? I don't need per se. I could have 100, so give me 10. Wonderful. Basic tapes, I have more than enough. Bye bye. Okay, now we want to rest. If I were to one day leave this place, I would be foolish to speak a word of my time here. An island beyond the countries of Earth, inhabited by spirits and fake creatures? My friends will think me a mad woman. That actually depends on where do we enter? Does time still go by? Like, if we're here for 20 years, okay? Um, do we enter when we left? The, the very same set. well, one second after, I guess? Or just, you know, the time flow. You disappear, you reappear. Millisecond, nanosecond, whatever, the very next moment. Um, or is it in a very different time set? Is it like you're here for 20 years and it's like 20 minutes between your disappearance and your reappearance? Or is it uh, 20 years until you reappear? Or even longer? And when you reappear, is it that you just teleport to the place you left? Or is it... You know, there's a lot to think about. And a lot to prepare if you actually... If the goal is to leave the island, you kind of have to think about what happens when you leave the island. I think a lot of... Well, characters. I don't know if people would forget. Characters are usually more 2D than actual people. I know, I know. Shocking. <laughs> but it's never really a topic I've seen. Okay, by now we really know the way by heart. And actually, I am quite interested now. I do want to talk to the redhead. You are a trainer, aren't you? No. Oh, you are. Can't hurt, can it? Well, 
defeat one time and I never have to defeat again. <laughs> Pom-pom are easy to tame if you know how. Everything is easy to tame if you know how. Oh, Spitfire. Okay. Let's get rid of them quick and easy. It should be easier if I don't have to take care of keeping them alive. Uh, Watcher was effective against fire? You. Uh, in this case... Yeah, quick smack. Attack down. Attack down. So he can't do that much. And the same I should do on the other pom pom. Oh, that's barely hurting. Nice. Oh, this hurts quite a lot though. So we're gonna just moonshine and quick smack on you. So none of you can hurt me. Okay, let's trigger some more. Oh, I get a... Oh, crit AP. Oh, but I do burn. Uh-oh. At least on the right one. <laughs> Should have made sure that everyone has at least one melee move equipped. I forgot about hot potato. Oh well. So we need to we have one melee attack, we have two melee attacks. <gasps> Boil is actually pretty good. Yes. Okay, perfect. Have a bomb. Oh. Uh. Um lady, you wanna watch out maybe. You do you do have a bomb with you. <laughs> oh well. And a quick smack. Sure. Just to keep attack down. Uh, it was so much fun looking back to the beginning of this. Where we had like three moves and didn't... I remember when I took everyone's moves away and wanted to strategize with what I had. Realizing I didn't have any... Oh, wait. I didn't have anything. And boil. Oh no, he's spitting on me. Rude. Hmm. Grass is effective on water. I should work with coating when it comes to that. Ooh, God say five. Which means we can put him into storage. Nice. Hey. Hereby. Me or the pombo? Oh, better not fight. We're hurt. Although. Problem solved. Oh, it's only two bomb bomb. Bomb bomb. Yummy. Uh, flea. Less. Gotcha. Ooh, a brush room. I still need one of those. So, hmm. Can we just fuse? No, it's easier. Ah, oh, it's easier to catch with the full fuse bar. Um, that means mm, in flame on the eyes. And icy, icicle dart on ice does nothing. Is water effective against ice? <laughs> so Icicle Dart is the only thing I can do here. Perfect. Oh no, he leeched me. So, it's it's much easier to, to deal with this whole... Th um, what attack I can use. Uh, my next attack doesn't have the chance to trigger a random headshot that I don't want. Uh, quick smack. Okay, yeah, but what about a nice attack now? Ooh, he could flinch. Uh, I could miss. That's an option as well. Oh, come on, really? 
On who? Oh. So we're just doing the same as before. Well, hopefully this time I'll hit. Perfect. And now I just have to wriggle him down. That could take a while. Okay, what are we gonna do? I don't know how strong Inflame is. Yep, you know what? I should start recording. Um, <laughs> Looking over to OBS, I actually am recording. Okay. Imagine still thinking I'm on the last recording and actually that would be something. Oh, another sm Ah, see, the recording was a good idea. Oh, 100%. Okay, attack T. Attack T. And a trick. You yeah, sure? Sure. Why not? <laughs> oh, wait. So I can trigger both at once. <gasps> Ooh. That's cool. Nice. Success indeed. We've got our brush room. Alright, I haven't even seen one Kitterly around here, which was the one that got me here. Ooh, can a the bed sheep? There you can see how equal they actually are. Which is is it an illusion of choice or is it nice design? Because they safe? Yeah, save. I... <laughs> Why did I save? I want to travel. I think after all this time of fighting fusions, my brain is just a tiny little bit fried. This should be my last recording for today. Mm. In my efforts to learn about the many realms outside of Harbour Town, I have acquired some documents of great significance. Oh? Huh? You're doing research? Yes. My time here in New World has shown me that my understanding of the world I lived in was but a grain of sand in an endless ocean. Truly, there are many realms like the one I hail from, such as your own, dear Tay. I asked friend Meredith for her aid, and she provided me this tome. Ooh, a moth. She insisted that it was a valuable read, this spook tales book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Meredith. I think this is a horror of fiction book. I don't think you're going to learn anything from this book. Well, well, wait, before I read. Um, technically speaking, um, her life was parallel to a book as well. So if she wants to get an idea about different worlds... Which is silly, because we're on the basis right now that any any thought you could have could be real in a type of world. Um, therefore, it doesn't really matter learning about it, because you would still be surprised. You can't really prepare un unless we find a way to actually choose the world we want to go to. Like, how do you decide how to go home? Do you end up in your world if you go back? Or do you end up in your world? But like, uh, for example, um, there are no cats. Would you really want to go back then? <laughs> no, besides, is it, how, how do you know that you're in your world? Which is a very brutal question to ask on New World because you can you could really turn someone paranoid. Absolutely. Unless they really don't give it. So it that will be great. But yeah, throw this into the catalog of questions on how you would arrive, where you would arrive, and when you would arrive. Like where would you arrive would have two parts now. <clears throat> Indeed, I have concluded that the accounts with it are imaginary. However, I must draw your attention to chapter 5, much of which describes effective ways to slay the living dead. <laughs> we do not fight monsters on a regular basis. Perhaps there is more that 
can be learned from this document than you may have first assumed. Yes and no again. It's whenever you think about fantasy creatures. Most likely you're thinking about something that came from Lord of the Rings or something. Um, people have stereotypes about fantasy creatures. I mean, look back to the other Let's Play that's currently going on here with the Monster Girl Manager. We, we, um, we summon a Monster Girl and immediately we have an idea what she's like. Um, they give them character bases like Sundere, uh, Yandere, you know, the Darius types. But in our head, we know how a slime may behave, what we could expect from a centaur, especially things like dragons. We had all this fun with code gathering. Or uh, vampires. Well, vampires are the bloodsuckers. But then again, we had in this game here the uh, land keepers, which we, Eugene was able to compare to vampires without them being vampires. And therefore, learning how to slay the undead is good in one world. But fiction can be anything. I could, um, I I could create a story with dragons, which really hate gold, and would never lay on a pile of it, let alone collect it. Much rather they burn it to crisp, to nothing, with their atomic breath, uh, or not fire breath, but um, I don't know. They can. Something else. Poisonous p pollen instead of fire bath. You know. So, all this research, unless we can decide where to go, is not really helpful in the long run. It can show you what a person can think about, it can make you more creative. But I think Felix, for example, our artist, has more of it than. Anyone else, basically. <laughs> Unless they want to become an artist themselves. But then again, if she's having fun reading a book in her free time, who am I to judge? Well, I'm just talking about how effective she thinks it is and how effective it actually is. How much fun it is is a whole other topic. <laughs> Nevertheless, I think Meredith lent me this book simply out of love for the macabre. It was an enjoyable read. Perhaps I shall request more books from her. Come, I wish to put my newly acquired lessons to practice. <laughs> you should ask about Meredith's favorite movie on this island. <laughs> because we have such a big catalog of different movies. <laughs> oh, already four. Oh, we're speeding here. And Cluxe, let's go. Your Cluxe tape became Robin Dam, which is Robin Dam strong. <laughs> yeah, I first didn't like it much, but it was one of my strongest fighters. Anyway, you're going into storage, and out of storage, uh, what did we just come? The brush room. Which should be around 70. 69. Brush room. Oh, this one is on 4 already. So, we're missing basically just the Kitterly. Wait a second. Just to be sure. Just to be sure. Beast Jury. Kitterly is around 37. Uh. All right. And Broken Head, which is the Flying Island. Yep, that's how we found out about the monsters there. But we haven't seen even one Kitterly. And I want to say how, how silly that is. Because Kitterly is... Um, like the promotional creature, it's the one of the first ones, the first, I would personally say, interesting ones, shown in the trailer. 
I mean, it doesn't matter much because the the hook of the trailer is the really good music, as I've said times and times again. But in terms of monsters, yeah, we've seen the evolution of the uh, what was its name again? Let me let me have a quick look. It must be around here somewhere. Right, we have seen the Palangolin, right, which was really good art, and uh, not the Kitterly, the Cat 5 actually. No, did we see the Kitterly or the Cat 5? I can't remember right now. Oh well. Are you still angry? Nah. Oh, a siren. Oh, as much as I like you, I don't need you. Sorry. So, what about you, my little guy? Aww. What else do we have? The mysterious stranger. And another bomb bomb. Come here. And an Elfless. We're not really lucky right now. I wonder how rare Kisley actually is. Or am I just in bad luck? Oh! <gasps> Just in time for nothing. Great. Anyone else here? Ow. Hmm. I wonder if this island has any secrets. Because this looks like you can you could go in there. Under the right circumstances. Hello. Oh, a clock sleigh. I wish I needed another clock slay, but sadly I don't. We should have a spare clock slay after the last one evolved. And you have a clock slay! Oh nice! I wish I had another clock slay, but I don't need another. Uh bum bum, come on. Oh you're alone. What are you doing alone? No need to be alone. And even pom bomb is um why there? Ah, okay. Let's be red. We do have two, right? And even Pom Pom, um, who is uh, the uh, companion of Barkley. It's gonna be funny because Barkley is next up once um, Viola hits five hearts. So yeah, that's a lot of. Okay, we found everything so far, multiple times. The only thing I didn't see is... Okay, that's it. I'm gonna look... Give me a moment. A quick moment here. Um... Uh -huh. Species list. And we're going down to... What number was Kitterly? 37. 37, which is way more above than I thought. Open a new tab and... Habitats, Broken Head. Sure, yes. We're right here on Broken Head, is the floating island. Mm -hmm. So the Kittily is not in the backup. Wait. We have Elfless and Pom Pom on, on the overworld, so the ones we see roaming around. And... Oh yeah! Sirenade, Kitterly, Cloxy, Elfless, Brushroom, Spirit and Pom Pom. Kitterly has 14.3... Everyone has 14.3% appearance um, possibility. So we're just not lucky! This is silly! We, we're just not lucky! <laughs> We found everything multiple times, but Kitterly. And we need two. I can't believe it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna run around here for a while. 
And we will meet again once I have a kiddly on the other side of the screen. How about it? Yeah, see you in a moment. Oh my god, yes, I found her. Oh, I, oh god. In the meantime, I went on and on and on and on. If I see another pom pom or Elfless, I'm gonna scream. Brush rooms, spirouettes everywhere. What, Kitterly? Just now. And, uh, okay, I don't have a time measure for how long I paused, so I can't really tell how long it took. And also, I did some online research if I'm encountering a bug or something. No, we were just not in luck. So, yeah. That was quite something. Uh, one inflame on the Elfless, please. And one. Nice Eagle Dar on the Elfless, please. Okay, that should do the trick. Not really. It charges okay, I fear battery. Oh. So. With another moonshine going on. And a quick smack. Wait, wait, we have quick smack. So, uh, oh, where's my list? I don't have them internally right now. So. <laughs> you see the mouse going through the monitor. Um, for electric, I do need. Wind, Earth, Fire, Water, Metal, Plant, Poison, Astral, Earth, Ice, Glass, Fire, Lightning, Pass. Oh, I don't have Earth. Oh, I have nothing for the Elfless. Oh, too bad. Oh, well. Uh, because here we can just use the, oops, the Quick Smack from the top to get rid of the Elfless. But the Moonshine should be good. Now, the real scary part begins, because I don't want to defeat this thing. So, you're gonna record with a chrome tape. I don't want to find this thing again. Oh, I do have to find it again. Ha, I have to find it for a second time. Multi-target, sure. Even more multi-target. Uh. So ice and water have the same effect here. Oh well. What you gonna do? It's a 90 attack, so... Let's see. Oh, I attack first. Of course I attack first. Oh, 73. Okay. Simple smack. Simple smack is okay. How much do we lose? Wow. The 58. Come on, come on. 50, 50. Yeah. It's okay, though. It's okay. We're both switch. I have nothing to switch to, technically. But do you have a strong move? You do have Sonic Boom. 60. We- oh, wait, we have, um... Uh, yeah, an electric type, so... Could go with plastic coating, water, um, water coating, yes, of course. Snoo spore, maybe. Okay, yes, yeah, snoo spore would be nice. And switching into Candival or Banshee tape. It doesn't really matter, does it? This one knows bite. As well. We can do it. Okay, great, great. Continue. Um, I do want snoo spore on you. Please work. And raises the user's rate. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Please fall asleep. <gasps> 
Hidden Mist! Ah! Yeah, what am I gonna do? I just record, I guess. Super conductive tape. It's gonna be fine. Okay, 53. Uh, nearly full energy. Oh, wow. 100%, okay. You won't just... Oh, double smack. Mm. Okay, I live. He just can't record anymore. Ah, uh, 55! No! Yes! Ah, <sighs> we did it. Mind you, the first one. This was so nerve wracking. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's go back. Elemental ball, yay! Both very similar yet again. And a common experience points per empty slot. Yes. Well, well, well. To go back to the uh, first of all, save. I don't want to do this again. Well, I don't want to do the first one again. I yet have to go for a second one. Ah. Uh. M. Could I? Thank you. It has occurred to me that this island brings together unlikely bedfellows. Unlikely what? People from countless walks of life who may never have crossed paths otherwise become compatriots when lost alongside each other on this lonely island. You and I would certainly not have met under any other circumstance. That's for sure, yes. Okay. Your surname tape became Decibel. Still a fantastical name. So, oh, Decibel could learn echolocation. <laughs> so, you can go into storage. And from storage, we can get Kitterly. What was it? Um, 37 or something? Um, Kitterly. Get this one. And, well, we're just gonna do the same again. We're going to the island. I pause for a moment. And once I find the Kitterly... I don't think you want to see how I go from fight, fleeing, fight, fleeing, fight, fleeing. There's a fusion on that island. Now you've got my interest game. Whee! I wish the way were shorter. Ah! Ice picks. Ah! Fusion. Yeah, I'm not fighting another fusion today. You can forget about that. And I don't even want to know how strong the fusion on this island could be. Where is it? Oh, it's back there. I'm gonna ignore it. Yeah, okay. The first fight is not a kizzily, so you know what that means. The mouse is going from right to left again. And... Yep, yeah, no, stop recording. Just pause it. See you in a second. Um, well, believe me or not, that's up to you. But uh, did you see the pom-pom on the map uh, before I said uh, see you in a second? Well, this is this fight. The very first fight after the pause is... Oh, it's... What are the chances? Well, 14 point whatever percent. But still. So, first of all, get rid of the pom-pom, which is much, much easier than... Um... The Elfless. Uh, to take the turn before this move. Yeah, no, how about not? So, I have to do quick smack or smack? Smack. I attack with the intent to damage. 
And you should smack as well, please. Trick. Well. Oh, perfect. Inflame is still bad, but I can work with this. So, we have to go all out here. No. I can't really do more than Moonshine, but I can boil. Oh, yes, I can boil. Oh, wow. Wait. Oh, do you see how it sleeps? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, it missed. Okay. Thought so for a second it would go through. So, what am I going to do with this one? Inflame? Moonshine? Moonshine. We don't have that many turns. I could boil it. No, I can't. Uh, only water moves. Icicle dart. Ah, uh, it's bad as well. So, let's... Oh, I fear. I fear boil. I fear basically every move here. So, I'm gonna quick smack it. Maybe I should have gone for boil. Because ne next turn I have to use a tape. Uh, it does nothing. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Who's gonna attack? I think T is gonna record. We're not fleeing. We're using the superconductor tape. And... Well, it's a water move, but what can you do? The fire is a nice extra. Oh, it could actually work. Could actually work. It works! Yeah, it can't do much with sleep. Woke up and burned. And captured. Oh, the trick was so lucky. Ooh, criticize a special. 10% chance of a wall. I'm gonna steal that. Kills 8% of max HP. I'm gonna steal that. This one on is it this one instead of trick. I know trick just saved our lives there. I know. But a healing move that could give Oh imagine criticize on on Mysmodius. Ah, oh, that's so good. Okay, yeah. We're doing that. Uh view stickers. I'm 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 gonna can I take it? I can't. Not for now. Kiddly was put in storage. Ooh, can Devil on five. Banshee on five. Brush room on five. Kiddly on one. We've got everyone. Yeah, no, I'm not doing the fusion now. Well, I'm going straight back home. Whoops. Ah, well. Can save. Now I'm going home. And before I forget, we're gonna go to tape storage and look for K. K, 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 A, B, C, D, Italy. Uh, check tape, edit stickers, criticize, peel sticker, uh, party, Mysmodius, check tape, edit stickers, trick, um, can't replace. I can't replace. Tri oh wait, yeah, trick was the plus one. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Wait, that was criticized, right? Tape storage. Um, favorites. Please be able to check tape. Please be able to learn criticize. Added stickers. Instead of. AP drain, maybe. AP drain is good, though. Let's see if we can even learn criticize. So let's go to C. Whoops. Way too far ahead. Criticize and comment. Duration priority. Okay, it can learn and it's... Okay, yeah. Somehow, they are sorted by... 
um, by the alphabet, but new moves are added below. See? Below. Or latest move. Sprint to the second last. Gas of fuel. Yeah, I remember putting off gas of fuel. Yeah. So for a session, well, it just adds to the. Um, yeah, the game. If there's one thing I really, really want the game to change, it's this list. Sorting for attack moves, melee moves, passive moves, status effects, maybe even by energy consumption would be nice, or by type. That would be great. Also, getting thrown into the middle of the list into the middle of moves I can't use is weird if I um, now equip criticize it would just throw me off down 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 somewhere below there and I don't know why or how but yeah so every tenth time so basically every 20 turn which is unreliable as hell but uh, what are you gonna do 8% of max HP is oh that's so great criticize is not the best to have this uh, but lowers the targets range attack is great especially because we have echolocation now if we had multi strike <laughs> Oh wait, motor strike wouldn't work. Be would it? Wait, does motor strike work with automation? I don't know how to get motor strike on Smart Magog though. But this is hilarious now. I love it. This, say what you want, but I want to extra save this to not get rid of it by accident. Ah, uh, whoops. But for now, we just rest. Hmm. I hope we soon find our way home from this strange dream we find ourselves in. I hope one day to regale my brother with stories of the devils I have overcome. The metaphorical ones or the fi- Oh right, we still have a few evolutions. A uh, good thing I saved actually because for Candevil, branching path, we went with alchemy. Yeah, right. Um, Al Was it Al Creamy and... Oh, whatever. We didn't have man machinery. Your Candival team became Vendemon. <laughs> Vendemon? Vendemon. It's a, it's a little astronaut. A Candeevil that has built itself a suit of protective armor out of metal and glass. It has been theorized that their strange attire is an attempt to resemble astronauts, but no one knows for sure. Hey, I was right. <laughs> nice. It doesn't look too much different th uh, from a Candeevil, actually. I think the other evolution line looked quite different at that point. And Banshee, we went to heaven last time. Ascend to the afterlife. So now we're returning to the earth. Your Banshee Tay became Zomblit. Oh, And it's just as cute. The Zomblit is a spirit that has refused to ascend to the afterlife. It clings to the grave and earth where it was buried and may perhaps leave the mortal plane forever if it were to let go of its own headstone. Aww. I wonder how much of this is actually true, like in terms of the monster that is the thing we turn into. So wait, yeah, so wait, we're turning into the dead? So we're temporarily dying or what is going on? Let's better not think about this. Yeah, it's just confusing. Also, brush room. And this will never not be funny. <laughs> So actually, wait, the mask goes through the monitor again. Where 
from the party. Zombly, wait, zombly and vent demons still need to be evolved. So only fun uh, goes into storage. Um, the question becomes, who do we take out? Spirit on the eighty-seven. Five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Oh, this one has a special special sprint. Let me check that quickly. Uh, priority chance per empty slot. Raise the user speed. Eh. I don't think this needs priority. Oh well. Uh, it can be useful with the right moves. But well, oh well, 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 well. Let's see how we continue next time. For now... Ugh. That was quite the episode. It just feels longer for me because it was actually longer. You see a kind of cut version. Which I didn't think I would start anytime soon. I prefer having like everything shown. But then again, running from monster encounter to monster encounter to monster encounter. Yeah. It could have been boring. So yeah, um, see you around. Bye bye.